I just finished working out and I just squatted. Well, I did uh, in my Uggs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not a problem. Mike was kind of surprised that I'm actually doing a leg workout in my Uggs. But I'm telling you, it's very comfortable. You need no socks. You just pull the Uggs on and you're out the door. I think he so, was surprised because you were casually squatting the 405 oh. while talking. <laughs> I think that's, just, the, that's what the surprise saying, was. Oh, you're in your pajamas. It's, not, it's just a comfortable little outfit that I like to put on when I walk the dogs. And my Uggs. And since I had to get my workout in, I mean, I don't have a lot of time like he does. Because the only thing he does is eat, workout, shit, eat, workout, and maybe sleep at times. But yeah, because right now, the sleeping is minimum for him. He's got no food in that system. He's been up since 1 a.m. Um, so I decided to make some overnight oats. Um, and this is a great meal to do, obviously, before you go to sleep. That way, when you get up in the morning, you don't have to do nothing else. You just go to the fridge and you just grab the mm. jar and shove it down your throat. So I have a couple of jars here that Jeffrey got for me. Thank you for that, Jeffrey. Mm -hmm. that, was, that was very kind of you. I love these jars. They're so you could do. I'm thinking to do other stuff in these jars too. They're mm -hmm. so awesome. You could store stuff in there. It's amazing. Look at that. Beautiful. So I'm gonna make high protein overnight oats. I'm gonna use Mike's protein that will be coming out at what, February 11th? Mm -hmm. I think we said the 14th or for Valentine's Day. Let's just say yeah. that it's coming out for Valentine's Day. Um, and we have two flavors. The best protein to use with your oatmeal is the vanilla flavor. Don't listen to Mike. He's all, it's a chocolate guy. Everything that he's eating when it comes to sweets and proteins is chocolate. No, guys, vanilla in your oatmeal. And if you watched my YouTubes before, I did a oatmeal morning dish with vanilla protein in it. If you do chocolate, you'll see what I'm talking about. But you have no other options, then you can throw your chocolate in there. Today we're using vanilla. So with that said, I have um, old fashioned oats. So we use only old fashioned oats. When I came to LA, I was using the quick oats, the one minute. Because in New York, I was so busy rushing around, trying to get to the restaurant and to get to work. And it was just so easy to just grab the oats and throw some hot water on it, put some protein powder on it and just eat it. Mike does not want the quick oats in the house. So with that said, I gotta use the old fashioned oats, but for this meal is perfect. Um, how do I cook the old-fashioned oats when I do cook them? In a microwave. Everybody says, hey, you know, if you microwave your food too much, you might get cancer. <laughs> so I don't know why I'm laughing about that because it's probably true. But I mean, come on. How else are we? Who has time to sit next to the stove or to do who knows what no. to heat up their food? No. That's serious. You know, it's just, it's, a I, anyway, I put um, a cup of oats in there. Um, this is optional. You don't have to do bananas, but you can put bananas in there. Um, let's do this with germ. And Mike told you guys, he, he used to do with germ in his... Um, shakes. Shakes. Like, remember that? Yeah, yeah. Like tons and uh -huh. like this big scoops of with germ. shoving like, that yeah. down. He was like, yeah, it's good for you guys. Yeah, so we're putting some with germ in there. It's going to give it a nice little crunchy taste. Um, yep, I have some chia seeds. You find it at the supermarket. I don't mind giving them a little, um, this company is amazing, guys. They've been, we've been using their product forever. Okay, so this is chia seeds with flax seeds mixed. You could just do the chia seeds. You don't have to do the flax seed if you don't want to. Uh, but it has great benefits. Look it up online. Oh, I like the way it smells. Yeah, I like that. So I put a quarter cup of the chia and flaxseed mix in there. I'm gonna do a little bit of uh, uh, vanilla extra, just because it gives it like a little bit. So use a, a teaspoon or whatever, a, a teaspoon. The baby plays with the spoons. I cannot <laughs> find any spoons in there. I had to move everything. So there you go. So a little bit of vanilla extra. 
I use vanilla extract for my French toast. I use them for my pancakes. It's just that nice, sweet. Uh, you know what I'm gonna use, guys? Do you know anything about the fat-free yogurt? I know, you find this at Costco. Trust me, it's the best thing ever. And next, I'm gonna make a pudding, and I'm gonna use the yogurt for the pudding as well. But let's do the yogurt here, and I'm going to use the same scoop. There you go. I'm gonna put some yogurt in there. This is gonna be so awesome. So yummy. Yummy, yummy in my tummy. <laughs> I'm on the blitz, but you know when you cook. You gotta. <laughs> you gotta try. Um, I got almond milk and I got unsweetened almond milk. You could do sweetener too if you want. It all depends. Because we're on the blitz, we're gonna try to keep this as low, as low as possible, the calories. Okay. <sighs> right. I'm gonna throw some banana in there. You know what I'm gonna eat this probably, Jeffrey? Mm -hmm. Sunday morning. Oh, okay. So Sunday, it's a high day. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we, we just, we've been appreciating Sundays so much. You see how it works? Pete Evans appreciates Sundays because he goes to church. And that's great. We used to go to church before they shut down. I appreciate Sundays because we get to eat mm -hmm. food. Yes. Oh, Sundays are the best days ever. And you know who else appreciates Sundays? Jeremy Davis. <laughs> he sends me so many, yeah, yeah, it's coffee all day long. He sends me so many videos from his dishes on Sundays. And he really, Jeremy Davis, have you seen any of his uh, meals? He tagged me in some today. He did? Yeah. Today? Yeah, today. What is he eating today? He's eating donuts. He's no. getting sidecar. No way. Good donuts. What today is what? It's, why is he eating today? It's Friday. <sighs> Who knows? Anyway. I yeah. liked it though. You did? <laughs> they look good. Oh my god. I don't I gotta see was it on his stories? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I have to uh, we're gonna mix this together, but we're talking about Jeremy Davis here. Okay, let's keep it uh, uh, keep it on low guys because this is gonna splash everywhere, it's not on low. You don't wanna pull the mic and, no. and splash it all no. over? Remember what Mike did? Oh my god. It was it's still on film I think. We're gonna mix this nicely. Oh, get great. all the bananas in there, the yogurt, we oh, got the chia good. seeds, you smell that. Mm -hmm. We got unsweetened. And you can put everything unsweetened in here because guess what? We're gonna yeah. add that protein powder and protein powder is gonna add all the sweetness that you need and you want. I mean, it's, you could go crazy with the protein powder in this because let me tell you, you won't feel that the uh, once you're gonna try Mike's protein, you know what I'm talking about. I used to have protein drinks, and I felt this aftertaste. I don't know if you, you know those uh, RTDs, ready to drink protein oh, yeah, drinks? Yeah. And I couldn't, for some reason, I just could not drink them. They had this aftertaste, and it kept repeating on me. Like, I, I just, it was so bad. So I said, you know what? Um, after I tried different, several protein powders, I found one that I like, that I've been using right now. But when we tried Mike's, we made sure that that protein is gonna be exactly to our liking. So it's gonna be no aftertaste, smooth. All right, look at that. Oh, that looks beauty, beauty. All right, let's do some protein now in there. So guys, we're gonna do two jars. We're gonna do more than two jars. I just pulled two jars out, but um, I'm going to put in here, what's a, one scoop of protein. 31 grams. <laughs> that was a Mike scoop. Yeah. A nice scoop of protein. Don't over, what did Mike say? Don't over uh, do it. Yeah, one level scoop. Yeah, yeah, one level scoop. Yeah, that was a level scoop. Two also. level scoops. Yeah. Jeez Louise, yeah. All right, there we go. Got that protein in there, guys. Oh, man. This is gonna be so good. Guys, you better tag me. If you're gonna do this dish, you better tag me. All right. Guess what? That is it. That's it? That's it. That's how simple this is. Yep. So, we're going to take this baby. You could, you could do that in a minute. We're going to use a mama scoop. Huh? You could do that in a minute. Oh, yeah. Right? Oh, absolutely. There's no talking, just get into it. It's so, it's so fast. You could scoop it all in there, guys. 
it smells even better Smell now. That? It already smelled good. <laughs> yeah. It already this smelled is, yeah, good. Yeah, this is from that protein powder. It adds yeah, so... It added another yeah, layer. Like a nice, nice kick. That, that vanilla. Oh, yeah. It's so good. It's like a cake. Oh, my God. Somebody said, are you going to use stevia? You don't need, no, you don't you don't need, need sweetener. It. I no. promise you. You need nothing. Absolutely nothing. This is just... It's sweet from the protein powder. I made that mistake when I made my oatmeal in the past, when I started doing it, and I put two splenders, this I'm talking about five years ago, I added two splenders, um, two scoops of protein in my oatmeal, and I couldn't eat it. It was so sweet. I literally had to get rid of it and make a new one. So, actually this is two jars, so the, Perfect. the measurements were correct, again. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so two jars. I thought it was going to be a little bit more because I, was, I put so much protein in it, but no, no, no. Exactly two jars. Okay, perfect. That's what I was hoping for, but hey, you never know. Anything that's, yeah. So good. So good. All right. Oh, well, here's the finisher. Okay. Let's put these babies away. Here is the finisher, all right? You could add fruit, you could add nuts, you could add dry fruit, you could add whatever you want to this jar. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this, before I put the fruit in the fridge, just so you know, I rinse it off. So yeah, it was washed. So I'm going to put some blueberries in there. Okay, for that one. Watch this. I got some craisins, some raisins, some craziness in here, because I love I love that stuff for, I'm gonna put some craisins in there. Oh yeah. I mean, why not go all the way? I'm gonna put some, these are pecans. I go in the baking section at the supermarket and you, you just literally buy a little bag of pecans and I love nuts in my food. And I did that. Did that sound weird? Nope. Okay. Good. <laughs> Not I, love, at all. I, I love, love, love any kind of nuts. <laughs> what am I laughing? What are you laughing, Mom? <laughs> I don't know. But you could add any kind of nuts to this. This is pecans. I love walnuts. So in my oatmeal, usually in the morning, I do walnuts. Just I love the fats from the walnuts. I like the uh, texture of the walnuts. And you could grind the walnuts, put them in a um, little towel and just kind of like crush them up and then you can sprinkle it on top so yeah that's uh that's what we're looking for so you can add bananas you can add whatever else you want okay for now i have blackberries and pecans in this jar and here i have the dry uh, craisins and uh, pecans but um that's all i'm gonna add to this because i don't want to go too crazy since we're gonna eat this but guys, you could go wild. You could add all kind of fruit in there, like I said. Um, easy breezy. You have to chill this. Put it in the fridge. Look at that, Jack. Thanks for the jars. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. A Amazon. I know. I can't believe I didn't think of it. In case you guys yeah, want to get some jars. Yeah, I was saying that I want to make some overnight oats. And Jeff was like, oh, I could get you some jars. I was like, wow. Yeah. So these are my high protein overnight oats. Um, let me know if you have any questions. I am. I, I really want to do a pudding next, a protein pudding. It is so simple, so easy to make. Um, and Mike used to eat that on one of his diets, and I'm gonna probably talk to, talk to him about that. But he had a diet where he had a uh, protein pudding in his diet, and he ate that every day for three months, <laughs> and it was absolutely amazing because you felt like you have a cheat meal almost. Um, it was so good. Um, yeah, so overnight oats, simple to make. I'm going to throw this in the fridge and I'm going to have this on Sunday. But you guys, if you could do this, you could have it the next day in the morning. It's nice to eat it chilled. And if you don't want to eat it cold, guess what? I got news for you. You could actually warm it up. It doesn't have to be in the microwave. But yeah, warm it up in the microwave and you could eat it warm as well. And you could add more, more fruit tomorrow to it. But uh, this is going to taste so good just the way it is called. So until next time. <laughs>